first off, let's go back to that. You know, obviously you were the, the head coach at Norfolk State. What, you know, what was your tie to Mike Houston? What what led you to East Carolina? Well, just uh, we've known each other personally and professionally over the years. Uh, you know, we both kind of coached at all different levels. Um, and, uh, you know, just a friendship that uh, came, you know, between two head coaches. Obviously we had uh, a home-and-home home series that we played between Madison and, and Norfolk State. And uh, just one of those things. A lot of guys that were on Mike's staff were actually on my staff at Richmond. Uh, you know, Coach Dewey, Coach Hanson, all those guys. So just a lot of uh, a lot of uh, crossover, you know, amongst us. And uh, we talked about it, and you know, it was an opportunity for me to get back to the FBS level. Uh, you know, I had been away, been a head coach in Division Two and FCS, but uh, gave me an opportunity to um, get back to this level, join a great staff, kind of expand my network, and, and work with a guy like Mike, who's won at every level. So it was. Uh, you know, it wasn't a no-brainer for me because to walk away from, uh, you know, from a team was a very tough decision. But ultimately, I think, uh, you know, being able to join the staff, uh, you know, puts me in a better position personally and professionally. And it also, you know, uh, gives our team a chance to be a little bit better. You obviously take over a tight ends room. I know you're happy with the receiver as well. But when you look at the tight ends room, I mean, compared to when Coach Houston first got here, it's quite a change. Just yeah. what do you see when you look in that room and see all the different possibilities? It's a talented room. There are a lot of guys that can do a lot of different things. Uh, you know, you look at Shane Calhoun, who's probably, you know, probably the, the, the day one starter. Uh, he's a talented young man that, uh, you know, very talented in the run game, very talented in the pass game. Um, you know, becoming more mature, he's kind of the quiet leader of that room, a guy that's probably the most dependable guy that you can, you know, expect to do the right thing. You're really, really disappointed in him when he does something wrong because he makes very few mistakes. Um, you know, Ryan Jones, believe me, uh, he, he's something that nobody's seen before. Uh, he's a... He's a 245-pound athlete that can play wide out. He can play tight, and he can play in the slot. And uh, as he learns our offense and continues to progress in our offense, uh, you know, I think the sky's the limit for him. Uh, and then you know we've got two big suckers in uh, Zach Bird and Ryan Jarman, who you know it's, it's, you know the, the guys started calling them the Silverbacks the other day because they're just two big tight ends, man, that are physical in the run game, but also have the ability to do some things in the pass game. And uh, you know Brian Gag will do some things for us down the road, and and. Uh, we're just pleased with with uh, what, what we've done in the room. Um, you know, having the ability to go over and, and, and spend time with the wide house too has been great. You know, because we tell people, hey, you know, we have two wide receivers coaches also, and, and being able to you know work with CJ and Audie and those guys alongside Drew has been great for us all. When you look at Ryan, I mean, obviously he's such a great athlete, but I guess people assume he's he can come in and just dominate right away because he's such a good athlete. But how much has gone into him learning offense? Because he played defense at Oklahoma for three years. Well, you know, playing defense, one, coming to offense is a transition, and then moving into the tight end room is a transition, obviously. I mean, because most people kind of make the transition from wide out to tight end. And, I mean, it's a different world down there. You know, you're being asked to block. Nine techniques. You've been asked to block five techniques, but you're also being able to block, been able to block, being asked to block on the perimeter. So when you're doing all those different things, it's it's tough. And uh, he spun a little bit this spring uh, when he got here, but I mean he's really really worked his tail off. He's added about eight pounds to his frame. He knows more of what we're doing. Um, you know, he, he he's definitely our our number two tight end going uh, into into that.